Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett. Welcome to this week's episode of Friday on the Turntable. I'm going to do something a little bit different here that I've never done before on Friday on the Turntable. I'm going to feature actually a compact disc. Now, for you vinyl purists out there that watch my channel, we can also subtitle this Why Hasn't This Been Released on Vinyl Yet? or Albums That Need to Come Out on Vinyl. So for those of you guys that don't care what format you listen to music on, as long as you're listening to the music, you hopefully will discover a new album here already solidify how great this album is. For those of you guys that just collect vinyl, look forward to the future. Hopefully uh, this video will help get the word out there that this album needs to come out on vinyl. So today I'm talking about, well this is, um, I've talked about this album several times in the past and it was spurred by a conversation between a couple of my friends in the vinyl community, Robbie Olivox and uh, Mr. Staff Sal John, and uh, talking about Psychedelic Furs and I brought up the album Richard Butler, uh, the singer of the Psychedelic Furs, his first and only solo album which came out in 2006. Back when this came out I got an advanced preview of it. Uh, of the album digitally and was seriously immediately blown away by it. It was without a doubt my favorite album of 2006 and in that regard it's it's become kind of one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, unlike the Psychedelic Furs more rock based sound uh, alternative new wave whatever you want to call the Psychedelic Furs um, Richard Butler's solo album is very um, it's very dark, it's ambient in ways, uh, little bits of electronics, and it's an intense, soulful in a non-R&B way, but soulful as in hits from the heart. Uh, it's about the dissolution of a marriage, it's about the loss of parents, and uh, it, song to song, beginning to end, it's just a, an intense experience. Uh, Richard Butler is also, well of course he was the singer of the Psychedelic Furs, still is, uh, Love Spit Love, another band whose catalog was never released on, on vinyl. Uh, and Richard Butler, with his uh, unique voice, is also, not a lot of people know, is a painter and uh, that is one of his works there on the cover. This album was co-written by a guy named John Karen, who has worked with many people, um, most notably his work with Pink Floyd in the later era, post Roger Waters, so uh, Division Bell, Momentary Lapse of Reason, and a lot of the other um, live albums and such after that. He worked with Roger Waters, not Roger, David Gilmore and Soul Albums. Uh, the album is dedicated in the beginning to both of their fathers because I think while they were working on the album, both of their fathers passed away. So there is a dedication in the beginning and uh, from what I recall, Richard Butler's marriage was uh, um, dissolved while this album was in, um, was in the making. So it's just credited to Richard Butler on vocals and John Karen on instruments. Um, 11 tracks on Koch Records. And it opens with a song called Good Days, Bad Days. And I want to quote some lyrics on this one because... Um, being a songwriter myself and uh, and a writer, you know, when when the lyrics hit you hard, it takes the music to another level. And uh, the song is kind of about of about about regrets and uh, just following kind of the wave of life. And he says in here, um, I want to unsing every song, unwrite every line, unstep every step I've made. I want to unsew every seam, unwind every clock, unbreathe every breath I've made. I want to unset every sun that my eyes fell on, to give till I give back all I've won. Good days, there'll be bad days. Um, California, another track on here, another one of my favorites. Um, you know, when the coast of California sinks into the ocean, it's just about the future. It's it's about a breakup, and it's just about how. The world moves on, perhaps, and uh, and there's a line that says, you know, when the coast of California sinks into the ocean, et cetera, et cetera, no one will answer you when you call. It's just, a, it's intense. Breathe is great. Uh, milk, broken airplanes, nothing's wrong. Uh, Richard Butler really explores his falsetto on this album. Phenomenal. 
this is somewhat difficult to find. I was fortunate after I'd gotten it digitally back on eMusic, I think back uh, before it came out, and I was lucky to find a copy of the CD, and I'm always out looking for it to try to find copies in the used bins to uh, buy, to send to friends, and I never find it. So, and I, and I checked on Spotify to see it was available so I could post a link, it's not. So look up Richard Butler on YouTube, Amazon, whatever, eBay, get this album only on compact disc hopefully someday in the future it will come out on vinyl hopefully we can get a second um a second uh, solo album from richard butler my friends uh, lou and kari actually got to see he did a handful of shows on this tour and they actually got to see it in san diego and i think he said it was a room of maybe 20 to 25 people there of richard butler performing the songs from this album so guys richard butler 2006 cannot recommend this album enough do it. Thanks for watching.